Hey everyone, good morning. Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. You can finally smell fall, autumn in the air here in Arizona. It's finally starting to get a little chilly. Definitely at night, even in the daytime. It's only hitting 70 degrees. Look at this system. We're gonna go to Aja's property up in Williams, Arizona. Got Frida, the e-bike, and Tater Tot hooked up for a little different experience. Thanks for joining me, guys. I will be uploading this video with some connecting internet, whether you're on the road or off grid. Check them out. Get $35 off your purchase by using promo code NOMADIC35 at checkout. And uh, yeah, check out the links below. My last video three days ago, I got a bunch of comments. No cats, you didn't film the cats, you didn't even talk about the cats. <laughs> Actually, I uh, d deleted out a part where I had a little scare. So let's start with the kitties, just waiting for Dana and Steve to get here and then we're gonna convoy on down the road. But yeah, about four days ago, Opie and Tara and I had quite the little scare here in the RV. And uh, I was actually in the bathroom on the toilet when it happened and it just sounded like complete chaos. And what had happened was Opie was down using his bowl and his little Mickey collar ID tag here, metal part with the ear, actually got stuck in the food bowl frame and freaked him out. So these are the two bowls. I have two sets of these so that I can easily clean out the water and food bowls. And as you can see, all the metal wiring around it, that's where it got caught. And uh, I'm just not the guy. I'm not doing it anymore. Even though I, I love this system because it's raised up, um, we're switching. So these two food bowls are getting replaced. Went into Walmart and got a pet bowl placemat because I was worried about things sliding around on the road. Then I got a four pack of these porcelain kitty food bowls. I got four of them so that we can always have two out. And then these two will be the ones that I'll use tomorrow when I clean those bowls out. They'll just go in the sink. They have a rubber coating on the bottom, which is a non-slip. And I mean, it is super non-slip. Probably don't even need this, technically. No, it would just stay on the floor. But anyway, yeah, and we're gonna simplify everything. Instead of two water bowls, just got one big water bowl to go in the middle for both kitties, right? That makes sense. So we're not gonna have any more scares like that, are we, Opie? Where's Tara? Oh, she's under the driver's seat. She knows we're about to travel. She's still mad at me because that did freak her out the other day. She's really skittish now when she goes to eat. Like, it's it's bad, guys, and it, it, it breaks my heart. It's been four days since it happened, and now still, even when she's just eating, I have to tiptoe around her. And if I make the slightest sound, like a, like a crunch or something like that, she jumps up and freaks out. She's like traumatized because of the Opie bowl incident. So we're just gonna make sure that never happens again. There's Tara. Hi, honey, you look so cute with your mini ID tag. Yep, dad's gonna fix it. Here, you wanna chew on your catnip banana? That's for you. It's got teeth marks in it and everything. <laughs> yep, we're gonna have some fun this weekend, okay? All right, guys. It's okay, Tara. Look, she's still lurking. She's like, I don't know, dad. I don't know, dad. Plus, you know, they've been eating out of the same bowl. It's okay, Tara. Tara, it's okay. Nothing's gonna happen. <sighs> anyway, I'm happier with it. This is this is makes a lot more sense to have a bigger water bowl too. I'm just cleaning out more bowls every day. And uh, these, yeah, that'll work. Okay, I'm happy with that. Opie, will you tell your sister it's okay? Will you tell her to relax? It's okay. Yeah. All right, so Dana, Steve, Ethan, Jesslyn, Aubrey, and Banjo are over there. It just got really, really windy, and uh, gonna wait till Dana gets back. She's gonna do some shopping, and then we're gonna we're gonna compromise and figure out and plan. You know, usually I just turn the key and do what I want, but we're gonna convoy together and figure this out. Are we gonna overnight somewhere in Flagstaff? I brought up there's McHood Park in Winslow, or are we just gonna book it to Oz's and get there a little early? Don't know yet. We'll find out here in a minute. In the meantime, I guess while I wasn't paying attention. Both cat bowls have been nibbled at. The wet food's gone, at least. So, um, at some point here, you boogers have been using it. Has Tara been eaten, too? You have to tell me. I just gave Opie a good brushing. I brush him about once a day, but really, he could go for, like, two or three brushings a day. He's a high-maintenance boy. That's okay. 
Terra Bears up here on the dash, checking everything out. Hi, Terra. Did you get some num nums? All right. But thanks, Dad, for clearing the couch and giving me room. Had all my junk here earlier. I also uh, I reinstated Netflix. That's all I'm gonna keep, though. Just YouTube, Netflix, and of course my my Dish Network, which is a different technology, but. I was, I was really happy because all I did was I signed back in and let me pay my whatever. I think it's like $16 a month now. And uh, it saved where I was at in all my shows. <laughs> so that's cool. Hope we don't really care. All right, so talked with Steve and Dana. They're ready to go. Uh, we are expecting a windy day today, but not to the point where they're calling it high winds. Tomorrow is going to be high winds. Right now, even with this wind, I mean, it is intense. 55 mile an hour plus tater tot is going to be all over the road behind me and we're just going to be in no rush I'm about a quarter A quarter quart low on oil. I'm gonna put some oil in here then we'll hit the road We're gonna go to Aja's tonight. It might be dark by the time we get there, but we're gonna book it All right, we are on the road. I forgot to latch the top drawer on there and we're going to be struggling some uh, southwestern winds as we go west once we get up to uh, I-40 up here. But following a uh, full tiny house in front of me, uh, we had we'd hoped that a couple other friends might be joining us on this. But uh, it's just going to be us from here, at least, convoying. And I have heard from Aja that a lot of people got there early anyway. So uh, we're probably going to be late, in a sense. But we shall see. We've got a lot of driving to do. It's about four hours to Aja's from here and 40 minutes of that is a dirt road with potholes. We'll see. Well, you know, I had driven through some fierce westerly winds while going west. Is that what you call it? If it's coming from the west and I'm driving west, is it a westward wind? I think so. It's very, very heavy and uh, I don't know if they slowed down because of me, but I cannot go any more than 55 pulling the car and the speed limit 75 but like I said we do have some very high winds coming straight at us which tanks tanks your miles per gallon and that uh, makes it really tricky to drive really tricky because you got the steering wheel aimed at 10 and then all of a sudden the wind stops or a car passes you and then I got to switch it back to one o'clock on the it's uh it's gonna be a full-time job here for three hours, but um, just checking all my gauges. Uh, we did put oil in because I was a little low because last time I made this exact same route, things did not go very well. But knock on everything wooden underneath Frida there. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna get there, no rush. Holy cow! Blinded by the light! Oh my gosh! This. Five more miles of this, going straight west, and then we're gonna start going north towards the south rim of Grand Canyon. That is brutal, that is painful. You guys can see fine in the camera, I am blinded. All right, sun is setting behind us over there. We're stopping here, uh, talking to a Fred, Fred Flintstone here. Just messaged Aja to make sure it's still the same way in. There's one road that's different from last time earlier this year. Yeah, this will be my, my fourth time out here. Excited to see what changes she's made on the property because everybody keeps saying I'm copying people. But yeah, I am. <laughs> if it works for them, it might work for me. All right, even so, I'm going to let uh, Steve lead the way. Full tiny house here on YouTube. They didn't bring the car this time. Last time it was the other way around. I didn't bring the car. They did bring their car this spring. And of course, I had problems with the RV and really could have used a car. <laughs> so... But plus, it's good having tater tot in case the pets have an emergency or something too. So, yeah, this is this is fine. We'll just we'll take this really slow because this can be a long dirt road over here. This part's fine. This is just like red clay, dirt, same stuff you'll see in Cholo. But when we get up here a little farther, I'm gonna have to be really careful because with tater tot in tow, so you can't you cannot see all the ruts. But with tater tot. I can't tell where the tires are going to If I were behind the wheel of my smart car, I would be able to avoid the holes, the potholes and stuff. But since I can't do that, because I don't know where those tires line up. Anyway, I'll get back to you. Oh boy, guys, we are almost there. We are one 
mile away. It's a long, long ride to Aja's place. I know when she gets up to a million subscribers, she's gonna have this paved all the way from the highway. <laughs> Eventually. Eventually, we'll get there. And good morning, everyone. Today is the windy day. I think it's gonna be the only forecasted high wind day. I've uh, moved out here to a new spot, kind of away from the main gathering up there, but I'm, I'm actually okay with it. This, this driveway right here is actually the, the driveway that is the borderline of the back of Aja's property. There's a no trespassing sign right there on that side. And uh, I guess they mowed out a few little areas for little campsites. So I got level there. Uh, somebody else is there in a trailer pull behind and uh, a full tiny house might be moving up here also. There's another site over there as well. But yeah, I'm comfortable enough. I've got the e-bike. I've got tater tot for the potluck so I can put a, a crock pot in there and go back. Actually, I don't have to drive around this loop because there's even a, oh, tater tot, <laughs> filthy. Uh, back behind my RV, there's even a little mowed trail right there and that will lead back to the main gathering spot over there i want to go check out uh, aja's chickens here too but yeah the event the party aja's birthday party hasn't even started yet here and uh we're gonna we're gonna get more people to fill in in these spaces to the point where we may have to get a little more cozy get the lawn mower and mow some other spots here too for more people we'll see let's get on the e-bike and go check out the chickens because i tell you every time i come back here and i'll just had this property for three years so to put that into perspective what she's been able to do and she has not stayed here this whole time either but um just taking notes every time i come back something's different something's new and uh I'll probably be copying a few things. You know, despite the wind out here today, um, solar's working great out here, just like it does at my property. Um, as long as it continues like this and we get enough solar, here at 11.30 in the morning, my batteries are already up to 94%. And I'm gonna have no, and I'm running the uh, air on the top, not air conditioning, but the fan on, on, on the top, that's pulling 300, 400 watts too, so. Yeah, but the people seem to be parking really, really close to each other in one big spot down there. And uh, I know some people don't have solar, so they need to run their generator a little bit or a lot of bit. And uh, so I, that's why I'd kind of rather be out, out here because it's easier. <laughs> it's still a little bumpy through here, but not impossible. I think that's Jimmy's rig there with all of the puppy. Nice landscape. And then right up here on the right, there's my old spot. There's my old spot and nobody's in it. <laughs> a little, little closer to the main drag up here also. Here's Terry and Scott's fifth wheel and their little spot. There's Retro Panda there. There's the garden. And here's the chicks. Let's go talk to them. This is something that Aja and her friends put together and built themselves. It is a custom homemade chicken house. Chicken house? Chicken coop. Well, that's the chicken coop. Hey, can I come in there and talk to you guys? I'm gonna come in actually. It's pretty secure. They got netting on the top here for uh, birds of prey, stuff like that. And over here, the fence goes down here. So pretty cool. I think this is the coop, right? And let's see. Let's see if there's any more this morning. Oh, there is. There's two eggs in there. There's two fresh eggs. There's uh, three hens. So let's go see how they're doing here. Oh. Yeah, I hear you guys talking in there. How you guys doing? Hey girls, hey hens. You guys pretty happy here? Yeah, is this your water station? It's an old uh, 55 gallon plastic drum with these put in. It's a pretty cool idea. I like that. You guys gotta have your water, huh? Yep, and then got some places to jump up on. Some pallets are used because, well, they don't sleep out here, but they probably like to sit out here in the, in the daytime. And then the, the chicken coop, again, it's just, it's just homemade with uh, scrap wood. I love it. 
little steps to go up. And Aja has upgraded to an ele ele electronic door here that'll open at night and in the morning so that they can go in and out of their coop without having someone physically here. But yeah. Also a good idea to have a, a camera here that's always able to see what's going on so you don't have to be over here all the time. Even if you're on the road and somebody else is taking care of the chickens for you, you can just open your phone and check in on the girls. See how they're doing. Yep. No roosters, just three hens here. And just some uh, out outdoor wood from Home Depot and then also some natural wood from the property as stakes and along the border there. And uh, they even put it around a nice little tree right here. So I'm, you know, I'm taking notes because uh, I've mentioned over and over uh, in my lifetime at my property, I do want to have chickens and have fresh eggs. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be fun eventually, but I've got to work up my confidence. I'm still, I'm still a traveler. So, um, you know, I don't, I don't think my buddy Danny, who's staying there right now, is gonna want to take care of my chickens six months out of the year right now. You know, so. We'll, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. And we'll see more of the property later. I don't want to go in here right now, but here's the garden. It's amazing uh, progress that they've made here. It's pretty cool. Here's the loop and uh, here's where we, we parked when we pulled in late last night. But this little loop right here, we got blue man, blue van man over there, Dan, and his new bus and the van. And I was just worried that this area might get overloaded with a lot of people. So that's cool. It's close and everything, but we're way out there. Did I really move again? Yeah, yeah, I did. I, uh, <laughs> I packed everything up again uh, and I came back to my spot, my spot. <laughs> My, my spot at Aja's, it's kind of cool. Uh, you know, it's just a small little site right here and I figure as we get busier, you might be able to fit two RVs in that spot over there. So just, I was trying to help others too, but I figured I had time and it was open. So, so why not? And you know, we're still far enough away from any other dogs or generators and we fit and sit and uh, yeah, I like it. What are you waiting for, Opie? You waiting for this thing? And get it. And get it. <laughs> we have a few toys that um, I don't keep out. You know, I don't. I don't keep them out for them to play together. This is this is an interactive toy with just me and the kitties, and uh, it goes away. <laughs> just kind of helps stimulate them. Tara was Tara. I'm guessing you don't want to play with a toy. She loves some toys. But this one scares her, and I didn't do anything to make her afraid of it. Look at Opie's paw. He's trying to <laughs> like, bring it back, Dad. Tara doesn't want it. See, she's backing up. She's afraid of it. She's, she's afraid of it. Opie, on the other hand, oh, good catch. That was a good catch. Good boy. Can I have it back? Oh. It's fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I put it away. You got other toys. Oh. So this will be our hangout spot this weekend. This nice little open area here with a fire pit. I've got the backpack with uh, Opie in the back, so I'm going to let him walk around and sniff things out, maybe smell some puppies. All right, well, this is special and cute because this is Jax's old Mickey leash, but it goes perfect with Opie's awesome Mickey harness here. <laughs> it fits pretty good. It might need a little, he might need to grow into it a little bit. It's a little big. Or maybe see if we can find somebody who can trim it, but it's a good safe way for him to explore and still be able to get close to puppies around here and be comfortable. Dad's right here. You're safe. Go we'll sniff some stuff. Oh yeah, there's lots of greens to sniff, huh? Do you like decorations, Opie? I don't like decorations, but you might. He's walking a little funny. That's a different kind of harness than he's used to, but hey, it works. He's a good boy. Anyways, guys, uh, we're gonna have uh, more people rolling in. I got lots of people to meet that I haven't seen in a year or more and other people that uh, I will probably meet for the first time and get the kitties acquainted and everything. So um, I'll cut back in here once the party schedule begins. See you in a few days. Bye, guys. <laughs>